Hey everybody. So do you ever feel like your day is just whoosh, gone and you didn't have any time to accomplish anything that you wanted to do? That's how I feel a lot of days. <laughs> but I wanted to share with you something that I've been doing that has changed that quite a bit. And it's being intentional with my time. And as the most amazing testimony of this, I have been able to finish several books that I wanted to finish. I've been able to finish a couple projects. I've painted some furniture and I'm not spending as much time scrolling through my social media, which is awesome. So I want to share with you these tips. A few years ago, I, as a mom, noticed that a lot of my free time was zipping out the window and it wasn't necessarily uh, zipping out the window on good stuff. Well, not good stuff, it just wasn't really productive. And I realized that I wasn't being very intentional with my free time and I wanted to change that, but I didn't really know what that looked like. So I thought about it for a little while and I came up with a plan and I wanted to share with you how it's helped me be more intentional with the little bit of free time that I have. So I'd like to introduce you to the calendar. Okay, so kind of ignore up here because my month is split, but so we're in March now. And so what I do basically is I have picked three things that are important to me that I want to get done in my free time. And that is I want to spend some time reading and I don't actually really care what it is. I don't really care if it's this amazing book that I've been looking at, Win-Win Parenting by Seth and Lauren Dahl, or if it's a magazine, something like North State Parent, where it's talking about um, what's happening up here in Northern California, in different places, different activities. I don't care what it is. It's reading. I'm engaging that part of my brain. So that's number one. The next one is internet. Now, again, don't care what that looks like. It could be Netflix and chill. It could be that I want to get on my social media and I want to just do this <laughs> and check out what all my friends, seriously, what important things are on Facebook. Um, or maybe it looks like doing some internet research on some projects or something that we need to get done or a fun thing I wanna go do, I don't care. It's spending time on the internet. So that was number two. The third one is a project. Now, again, this could look like anything you really want it to. For me, it looks like what needs to be done. Okay, well, I don't know about you, but there are piles of paper that somehow manage to multiply. And in an effort to not clutter my kitchen, they end up in my room on top of the file cabinet. And then it goes from like that, like that. Like that. So, so that's a project in and of itself. By the way, if you are finding any of these uh, suggestions helpful. I would love it if you would share this video with the friends or the people that you think would be interested in hearing about this kind of thing. But let's get back to my project. So this probably looks like a disaster, but this is actually going to be a really cool tray that I am making for a special person in my life. Anyways, balsa wood and it's gonna get painted and glued and um, it's gonna be really cute when it gets done. Trust me. But this is a project that it takes time and I have to use one of these. And I can't really do that with my 18 month old around because she would try to eat it. So anyway, it gives me time to do projects, fun projects or not so fun projects like going through paperwork. Um, but so back to the calendar, as you can see, I have just smudged that. But anyway, it goes, it just kind of goes over and over and over. Now on the weekends, I don't, I don't do that because I want that to be free for kid time or husband time or whatever that's gonna look like. So those are my strategies. I picked out the three things that I knew that I wanted to do, which was read, internet, and projects, and I put it on the calendar. Now, I know that's not very tech savvy. I could put it in my phone, but there's something about writing it down and then me being able to see it throughout the day of this is what you're going to be doing. So pick whatever works best for you to help you remember, okay, tonight I am going to um, read this book or I'm gonna look at this magazine that I've been looking at or has been sitting in my kitchen for a couple months. Um, and it, I feel like, at least for me, doing this, it's really helped me kind of reclaim my free time because I don't know about you, but the end, at the end of the day with my amazing children who have 
way more energy than mom, especially right now. <laughs> I, um, I think about what all needs to be done and sometimes I get overwhelmed because if there's this stack of over here that needs to be cleaned, I have to finish this project, the bathroom needs to be cleaned, um, I've got some books that I wanna read but I just really don't have time. Like if I think about all those things, a lot of times what ends up happening is I pick this up and I just do this until it's time to go to bed. And that's okay, but not for me, but, but not every night. <laughs> and so that was, that was where this was kind of born from, is wanting to be more intentional with my time. And I feel like it's been a really big success for me. And I'm liking the, the feeling of like, okay, well tomorrow I'm gonna read this book, or I'm gonna read two chapters of this, and then I'm going to work on filling out a baby book or something like that. Um, so it's, it's been, it feels nice to be able to have that sort of scheduled for me, by me. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys. We really appreciate your time. We would also love to invite you to be a subscriber. Uh, if you're a subscriber, then you get an email notifying you when we put out a new video, which is every week. And we've got over 70 videos of just about family and kids and um, being intentional with your time. <laughs> so we would love to invite you to join us as a subscriber. And I'd also be honored if you would share the video if you find it helpful. Thank you so much, that would be awesome. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have a good rest of your week. Take care and hopefully we'll see you again next week. Bye.